In this tutorial, we're going to walk through how to transfer Doge out from a centralized exchange such as Binance or Coinbase and into a key store wallet so you'll have true self-custody of your Doge and be able to swap it for other tokens or earn yield on ThorSwap. So first thing you're going to do is navigate to the main ThorSwap dashboard, which will be live at app.thorswap.finance or from thorswap.finance, just launch the app and you're going to go up to the top right to connect wallet and here you're going to create a new key store wallet so then you're going to create a password and this password will be used to decrypt your key store file so you'll need this to sign off on any transaction you're doing um, so do not lose this password and when you create this key store file make sure you're saving it in an extremely safe place because this key store file and that password are the keys to your crypto, anything that you have in this account. And now you're going to click on connect wallet again. And this time you're going to connect the key store that you just created. This will give you the option of which chain you want to connect. This type of wallet will work with every chain that's integrated with ThorChain and ThorSwap. So you can leave them all checked, or you could just only check the ones that you uh, are about to do something with. In this case, I'll connect all. I'm going to select the key store file and find the key store that I just generated. And then I'm going to enter the decryption password that I just created and click unlock. And now if we go up to wallet, now you'll see that you have addresses for each chain. Now, a quick security tip before we go further, I've just loaded up a demo wallet that will not be receiving any funds, but you'll want to view your seed phrase, which this seed phrase, you'll have to enter your password to view. This seed phrase is the true keys to your crypto. So if you do lose your key store file or your password, but you've backed this up, this will allow you to download your key store again and set up a new password but this you have to keep extremely safe it is recommended to store this offline preferably on a piece of paper somewhere incredibly safe because this would be the only way to restore your account if you forgot your password or misplaced that key store file and again i'm showing you this here you would never ever ever do that do not share your seed phrase with anyone your account will be drained you're giving over the keys to the account so now in this case we're going to be sending doge here so this doge address is what we're going to be needing this would be the same process if you were sending in any other token for example bitcoin you would use your bitcoin address ethereum your ethereum address litecoin your litecoin address you can click here or here to directly copy the address which is always a good idea not to try to type it because they are strings of numbers and letters like this so it's always a good idea to copy it or if you are sending from say the mobile coinbase app you can scan a qr code as well which will pull the same address so now we have our doge receiving address ready we're going to head to binance or whichever centralized exchange you have your doge at this process will be about the same i'll show it on coinbase as well but here you can see i have a little over a thousand doge in this wallet and on binance it's called withdraw um, to show coinbase it will be under send uh, sender withdraw is really the same thing so here this is would be where you would paste that doge address um, and you'd make sure you're paying with Doge. So you're sending Doge to the Doge address. Uh, here we'll be doing it with the, with the Binance example. So you're going to enter the address there. It's going to automatically see that it's sending on the Dogecoin network. So then I'm going to go ahead and send 1,005 Doge. There's a five Doge network fee from Binance. So I'll end up with 1,000 Doge at my Keystore wallet address and then go ahead and withdraw now depending on which centralized exchange you're using there will be some security steps here but just go ahead and verify whether that's through your email or two-factor auth authentication but you'll just follow through with this and do those steps and uh, to authorize the transaction and staying true to centralized exchanges, it's telling me there could be up to a 12-hour delay. So 
This is why it's important to control your own keys. So once you've approved the withdraw or send from your centralized exchange, you're going to just head back to ThorSwap and wait for it to show up here. You can refresh and eventually it will show up. Now you can see it has arrived and uh, just give this some time. It can depend on the speed of the Doge network, uh, as well as some centralized exchanges might hold up the withdraw for a little bit. Luckily, this ended up just taking a couple minutes, but just give it some time and refresh and it will show up here. And once it has, that's it. Your Doge is now in a self-custodied wallet. Just keep that key store file and password or your seed phrase safe. And now you'll be ready to use ThorSwap for decentralized swaps, as well as earning yield through liquidity pooling.